We are opening up with Tabby Angela's temperature blanket. Please, people, encourage this woman to keep it going because she keeps putting it down and going, oh, I can't be bothered. I've had enough. Stop having enough, girl. Carry it on because it looks fab. So keep it going. I think if my co-host agrees, agree, co-host, agree. I do Good. agree. It's beautiful. There you, there you go. You see, you must agree. Um, welcome in to everybody who is coming into the live. Um, we have a game of now. I've got to. I've got to get this right because I'm sure it's Deborah that's done this. We have two truths and a lie, but I think Deborah has two lies and a truth. Nope. I do the two truths and a lie. Yes. Are you That's doing the two one. And a lie this time? I'm doing the opposite to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just to make it all complicated. Um, but welcome in. Welcome in. Whether you're watching the replay, whether you're watching the live, if you're here in the live, try and join in, have a little bit of a giggle. Even though you might turn and go, well, how the heck am I supposed to know that? Guess. Guesswork is brilliant. Oh, you want to see us? Oh, okay. Got a Vogue, you know. Are we, are we voguing? We're voguing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Miss Deborah has her printouts. I have my lambing nuts because <laughs> I wanted to, I wanted to, you know, beat her because I can. Um, so today we are trying to find a winner to outdo our champion. Our current champion is Karen Y. Why? Because she is. So we need to find another champion for today. So for every person that gets a correct answer, are we doing every person? See, I haven't even decided this. Deborah, tell me answers. Because you're co-host, you get a little bit of power, even though I just told you you have no power. <laughs> am, I, am I doing, am I going to do, before the break, everybody with the correct answer gets a little tick? Or am I doing just the first answer? Are you going to be keeping track of it? <laughs> um, every person. Let's let's make it competitive because Karen is very fast. We need to. Well, that depends how many eggs Tabby's eaten. When, ta when Tabby's eating eggs, she's off like Speedy Gonzales. She's she's out of here. But, okay, so th this is down to Deborah. This is Deborah's ruling. Everybody before the break, of which I don't even have one because my moderator isn't awake yet. So I'll have to physically put the break in. Oh, my gosh. I have to do work. Ugh. <sighs> you will have two minutes from the time the first thing has been stated it will be stated halfway through those two minutes i.e at one minute at the end of those two minutes there will be a break in the chat and according to deborah who's not having to write it all down everybody that gets it correct i so wanted to say we'll go on the spinny wheelie thingy and then i'll go in on the spinny We'll get a mark next to their name, and at the end, we will soon see who has the most marks, and let's see if they beat Karen. We'll and these are not Googleable or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, no Googling. We're not celebrities, so you can't Google information about us to find Speak out. Speak for yourself. Are. Well, I'm not a celebrity. I am in the presence of greatness right here. Okay. <laughs> I had a I had a friend who hasn't been on my channel for a little while. She came on and she said she's all back. She's getting back with it. And oh my gosh, I know someone famous. You've got over a thousand now. Oh my gosh, I just knew you'd be world famous. Uh, no, 
no, but uh, thanks. Technically speaking, you are world famous because you have got subscribers from famous. all around the world. Famous, though. Famous. Really. Like, You're famous to us. I'm known. Let's go. Let's just go with that. I'm known. People know me. <laughs> anyway, let's me have a, of a cat video. Make make your presence known. It's this cat that just looks very regal, and they've put a voice like that on him, and he's trying to communicate with a mouse, with a dead mouse. It's hilarious. But you're gonna have to link me. Okay. I, I'll have to find it because yeah, it's it's funny. It's old, but it's funny. Hey, look, I'm old. I can be funny. I try. You are not old. We're all old. You don't say I'm. 12 years young do you you say i'm 12 years old well mentally sometimes with my humor i'm 12 that that's a given i agree i agree Deborah. I completely agree. <laughs> but physically and in person and, and on paper oh let's not go to the physical one. stuff let's i not own it because <laughs> i don't think that we should like quote old shame you know so i'm like yes this this whatever is 51 yeah, no, I'm I'm closer in into me into me eighties, I think, with me in a body. But anyway, let's say hello to everyone in the chat, shall we? Let's start, let's go and have a nose. A lot of people here already. We have Miss Tabby, who hopefully has her coffee because Karen's already told her to go and get her coffee. So I hope you've got your coffee, Tabby. Welcome in, Tabby. Welcome in, Karen. Good morning, Tangled. Uh, hello, Miss Marie. Miss Marie is in the house. Candy, my darling, candy, 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 candy. I am so, 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 so sorry. I'm so, 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 so sorry. Um, if anybody wants to say Candy's sister's name in the chat, aka Donna, if anybody says the name Donna in the chat, Nightbot will drop her name, her favourite colour heart, and a black heart for mourning because Miss Donna did pass away yesterday. And really weirdly, and it really wasn't planned, really wasn't planned. I did my evening vlog yesterday and I needed to file away some paperwork that I only do between every four and six months. And it was just piling up and I thought, sod it, I need to do it before bed, so I'll do it during my vlog. And I was starting to do the paperwork and I came across a card that I got from Donna. And I just... And it was just so weird that I picked that day to do my paperwork, the day she passed, and I found a card to me. So I had to post it on YouTube if you guys haven't seen it. That is why it was posted. So anybody that mentions Donna, Nightbot will drop a little memorial thingy for her. Russell, you should be working. Mr. I have to work every hour God sends. Welcome in. Miss Dodo, welcome in. Top of the morning to you. I'm so rubbish with the Irish accent. I'm so sorry, Dodo. You can shoot me later. Um, I said top of the morning, it's top of the afternoon, whatever that is in Irish. I can't say afternoon in Irish, definitely not. Howdy, Miss Lynn. Welcome in. Oh, I'm going to have to be reminded who's doing what. Oh, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll sort that out. We'll sort that out. I mean, my memory won't, but Dem Deborah's pretty good with making sure that everybody's kind of organised and stuff, right? Right? me <laughs> yeah um you know she'll she'll occasionally say thumbs up people thumbs up um welcome in wriggles and bailey um what oh my gosh what happened with wriggles laptop i her laptop lag soapy you do everyone as my stupid I think our laptop just had a stroke. <laughs> like, 
okay Riggles I can't even attempt to decipher that I'm really sorry I'm really sorry I just can't Miss Nana Michelle she's a lurking working gherkin and I'm wearing her shawl because it's a chilly chilly afternoon so I'm wearing her shawl because it goes with my dress um Karen says you're so kind Deborah what did you do what did you do to Karen what did you do oh answers because everybody goes on oh yeah she's kind because she's not doing the work mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well I'm on vacation so why should I work excuses <laughs> Tabby says no eggs but I do have French vanilla coffee with whipped cream Ooh. Bring on the calories in the morning, girl. No eggs, but French vanilla coffee with whipped cream. So many of you guys have French vanilla coffee. It's making me really want to have some French vanilla coffee. I don't know where I'd get French vanilla coffee, but I'm up for having a nosy. Gina, welcome in. Miss Barnett. Um... Oh my gosh, the chat jumped and all of a sudden I've got 20 million people in here. Give me a second. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. Um, <laughs> Tabby says, yes, you are world infam infamous. 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 Um, welcome in, Perp and Gigi. Russ is going to bed. Sweet dreams, Mr. Russell. Night, night. Um. Karen, the most famous ladybird in the world. I'm the only ladybird in the world. Zara, welcome in. Russell turns 50 this month, but better not tell anybody because I'm sure he doesn't want to know. It's a, it's a good age. Deborah will tell you. It's embrace. Age is just a number. Just think, when you're in your 50s, you're doing a lot of humping. No? Okay. Just me then. <gasps> Karen, dang it, already getting interrupted by someone. Oh, how dare they? How disgraceful. Welcome in, Gwen. <clears throat> Welcome in, Mr. Brandon. And look, there's Donna. Oh. Oh. There you go. Nightbot Drop the thingy. So if anybody yep. says Donna, it's going to drop it. Nightbot is doing its job. Occasionally it does. Occasionally. When I saw your post yesterday, I was like, you know, you made me cry. It weren't good for me. I can tell you, it weren't good. Um, Pert must stop doing my shopping on a Monday. Sat at a bus stop in the rain. Yeah, see, I, I'm not that far from Perp. And like one minute it's bright sun, the next moment it's peeing it down with rain and you've got five minutes of getting saturated and then the sun comes out. It's, it doesn't know what it wants to do. Marie says, yes, I've been awake all night, so I'm able to be here early, but may fall asleep. Hey, I know I bore the, bore the most awake people. So if I help go put you to sleep, that's a good thing because people need sleep. Welcome in Zach. Mr. Brandon's testing out his Twizzler emoji. I'm sure Miss Deborah will end up sticking her emoji in there at some point because she can't resist. I can't. Bailey, Donna will be sorely missed, but is now in the loving arms of the Lord. Candy says, Lady Bird, I have to say, when you do, your little giggle, it reminds me. Yeah, I've still got to find out which this little giggle is because I feel sorry for Donna if we had the same laugh. Poor, poor Donna. Lady Bird, I can do the breaks for you if you need. Oh, thank you, Tabby. That would be wonderful. And oh, my Lord, it just jumped again. I got right down the bottom. I'm like, woohoo, I've caught up. Nope. You okay, should know so better. Wait, <laughs> you would have thought I would have learned by now, right? Nope. Yes, Tabby, if you'd be willing, that would be wonderful, please. But please make sure to remember to join in as well. Um, yes, my laptop did that. We got your wriggles. It's okay. Biscuit tea for Miss Wriggles. Coco, welcome in. I don't know how long you're staying because I'm sure you're supposed to be asleep, but maybe you're doing the breaks instead of Tabby. Welcome in, Ingrid. Welcome in, Rita. Age is a number and that number in aches and pains. 
yeah, that's that's more me. Marie, I have wondered why you stuck a feather in the top of novels, but now I'm thinking it is a light-hearted tribute to Sweet Noodley. Stuck a feather in a cap and called it macaroni. Um, <laughs> originally, it was because I wanted to keep your peacock feather and I didn't have anywhere to, to do it. And I thought, well, why not have Donna and Marie in the same kind of spacing? So Nobbles is looking after the feather. Um, you're only as old as you act. Well, in that case, Deborah is 12. Sometimes. Notice I can't I can't stop moving. I'm in a chair that moves. So oh, I'd be the same. Swivel away, girl. I just, I bounce my legs. I'm that person. You don't want to be next to be in a cube in an office. She's got St. Vitus dance. Zach's only got three hours of sleep. Oh my gosh, you caught up again and it jumped. Oh my gosh. Will you people, if you stop talking, we can get on with the games. Oh my gosh, you people are so insensitive. <laughs> read faster, Lisa, read faster. I'm trying to get down the bottom and then it goes ping, there's another 50. <clears throat> um, uh, there you go, Deborah, with a little star. Can't have a live without Deborah's star. Um, good day, Boot Franca. Good afternoon, Miss Franca. You need to stay up until at least after supper. So either way is fine to me. If you could then, Coco, please, if you can do the break, no more than three emojis and no, um, no more than three capital letters, it'd be appreciated, please. Um, Tabby's not going to forget to beat Karen. I don't know if that's beat her over the head with a stick or what. I'm unsure. Welcome in, Joe. No, it's not that kind of channel who knows anymore after the email that i got from youtube today it may well be that kind of channel and they may well be that kind of platform um coco can't understand what's going on she will she will i just proved she doesn't bother coming into my channel very much um okay <laughs> tabs is talking a big game I put three tiny slideshows on my YouTube channel. Oh, that's going to just make me howl. I'll definitely have a look, Candy. Melissa, welcome in, Melissa. I'm caught up. Please tell me I'm caught up. Holy mother of poo-poos. I have no idea what <coughs> that is, but... But it's Zara's first super chat. What currency is that? You're going to have to fill me in. What currency? I'm, I, I can't even think. Rupees? Is that? No, rupees would be a, an R, wouldn't it? Flipping neck. Zara. G bleeding whiz girl. Even if that works out to only like one cent, I don't care. Like, holy cat. Thank you so, so much. <coughs> and you wrote my name correctly. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. INR. Okay, let's have a look. Because uh, uh, if you're going to go on the spinny weedy thingy, because, you know, there's a spinny weedy thingy for these. So we're doing INR to GBP. No. <laughs> Say, what are you laughing at? What have I done? <laughs> The way the Googs is picking up what you're saying. Oh, it's ridiculous, isn't it? <coughs> Flipping heck. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Look who's going on the spinny wheelie thingy. Miss Sarah, thank you so much. A first ever super chat. And she goes on the spinny wheelie thingy. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That looks like a lot of money. The, it, 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 when, ages and ages ago, last year, like millions of years ago last year, I was in a giveaway where she was giving away thousands upon thousands upon thousands. And I was like, I am getting in on this. There are about 400 people in the chat. And she was giving away 2,000 one moment and then 5,000 and then 1,000. And it's all thousands and thousands. And it actually worked out that 2,000 of whatever these, was it Portuguese? 
maybe whatever it was this money 2000 of them just about bought me a loaf of bread <laughs> and not even the artisan bread i'm guessing no no this is like dead store brand <laughs> and i was like oh, i'm gonna win i'm gonna win i'm gonna win and then it, it, there was just that little bit of a lull just a little bit of a lull and it gave me time to have a quick google and i was like what the heck am i doing seriously i saw this so i got rid but i was so hyped up for over three hours and i was trying to keep my eyes open and for for less than a loaf of bread anyway should we get this game going we probably should Welcome in, Bonnie. Would you like to go first or second? Today I'll go second. You go first today. I will get my laminates. I want to hear these brand new typed up, printed up laminates. Yeah, I've got new stuff. I couldn't be bothered to go through my notebook. I <laughs> sat here yesterday and I went, right, what don't people know? What don't I know? It took me three hours, but I came up with about 12 or thereabouts. No, it's more than that. There's more than that. Once I got going, I got going. So with my stuff, I will be giving you a statement, a question, and three possible answers. With mine, all I need you to do is find the truth. One truth. And you don't even need to type it out. For both of us, it's just A, B, or C. That's it. Coco, going to need a coffee if I'm going to be of any use to you. Well, I hope you're back with the coffee. That thousand sitting at the top of the chat just looks like, holy God. <laughs> and Franco, you don't have to know anything. Um <sighs> Although for a lot of these, if you, I know with mine, for at least a good bit of them, if you watch and listen to my chattering videos, you might have heard some of these before, or at least can suss some of them out or eliminate a couple of them, you know, eh, it's all a fun guessy. Oh, Zara was so, so close to getting two entries on the spinny wheelie thingy. She was like 50 cents away from getting on there twice she was close but you got on there you're on there girly first sub chat and you're on there welcome in lorna good afternoon howdy miss julie welcome in franca you just give it a guess all you need is an a b or c that's it i'm waiting for coco to come back coco i hope she is back because otherwise, who's going to put a break in the chat? Because I let Tabby off. I said it was fine. She can go. So you'll have two minutes. Um, as soon as I start asking the question, that is when the timer will start. Tabby's all and ready. So I suppose we'll go. My best friend is of which nationality? I would say she's Italian. I would say she's South African. I would say she's Finnish. A, B or C. And of course, Deborah gets to join in as well, but she'll say her answer when I call for the answers. And I'll Welcome get most of them wrong. Bella. <laughs> Look, whether, you, whether you get them right or wrong, you all, you're always supposed to be working when you're supposed to be working you're still in here guessing and at least you guess so, i usually do better while i'm working i don't know what that is i guess my brain is more engaged but it's engaged I'm, in like, the I'm like whatever you're supposed to be engaged in your work not weird people on the internet i so. can't just think about one thing I mean, that's why I have a job that makes me multitask so much. Um, yeah. Welcome in, Vanessa. I don't know. My home is suffering today, I'm sure, because she is getting all of my emails. <laughs> what a shame. Okay. 
here we go again. I hope Coco is back. And you only get one guess, by the way. Only one guess. Any <clears throat> multiple answers, everything will be void off. My best friend is A, Italian, B, South African, C, Finnish. Not start, finish. Let's see who's going to put the break in the chat. If it's two breaks, well, break a leg. Okay. Everybody that gets it correct will get a mark. Break in the chat, please. Break in the chat. Break, 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 break. Snap. Break it down. Sorry. <laughs> There's the break. Thank you, Coco. Okay. So... I'm only taking answers above that. Rita was too late. Deborah, which is my truth? I'm going to guess C, finish. But that's, okay. that is a total wag. I have the slowest thing on the planet. Curing to make coffee. Let's go with that. How do you pronounce it? Keurig. 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 Okay. Oh, Tabby got told off. Oh, Tabby got told off. Tabby got told off. Okay, I'm going right to the very start, and Deborah's going to help me with this. Oh, let me Because she's going to read out the correct answers, if there are any. If so, I know one is. my best friend is da -da 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 -da, A. Italiano. Well, I was wrong. <laughs> you were wrong. <laughs> so if you can read out the, the correct answers, please. Let's see where it starts. I think there's only one. I see Vanessa Russell. Yep. Wow. And just Vanessa, right? Yes. Well Girl, done, you're stumping us already. <laughs> well done, Vanessa. Um, Rita fell asleep. See, we already put him to sleep. Please, 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 please refresh your chat. Please refresh your chat. Please, 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 please refresh your chat. Mr. Joe, there's me cup of Joe for a Monday morning. <laughs> You, Joe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, it makes me smile. I don't know about anybody else, but it makes me smile. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Franca! <laughs> it made Deborah smile as well, apparently. I think she's putting it on. Um, welcome in, Mimi. Welcome in. You don't have those there. Thought you'd know what that was. Cure. <laughs> We need to have an entire video of Lisa attempting to to pronounce things. <laughs> Do you know what I really thought? I had a, a because it, it is a thing out there on YouTube where it's like the difference between American and English, or um, how a Canadian pronounces English words and how English people pronounce American words, etc. I really thought one game could be. One of you lot that are not in England trying to pronounce certain towns or words and vice versa. But I, I kind of think that would be semi-boring. But I'm sure Keurig isn't an American or Canadian thing. It's I think it's else. Swedish, but I could be wrong about that entirely. Oh. But because it sounds... Let's ask Rita. Yeah. Rita is Keurig <laughs> Swedish. Hmm. I'm going to go my brain hurt candy i don't blame you you need you need time stay away from the net and take that time please 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 and somebody write the name donna in the chat please no it's not swedish keurig keurig it sounds almost japanese no it's definitely not swedish because rita said so welcome in lisa it's Bosch brand, I think. 
Oh, I know Bosch. Bish, bash, Bosch. Thank you, Deborah. Okay. So only Vanessa has a point so far. Only Vanessa. <coughs> so we are now heading over to her. It's her turn. German. See, now I kind of wanted to go with German, and then I'm like, no, it sounds a little bit too obscure for German. Welcome in, Nancy. Thank you. Thank you very much, my dear. Thank you. Mimi's drinking coffee and knitting. Both at the same time, that'd be almost impossible. But interesting. Can you imagine a, a cup stuck to the needle? And every time you go like that. Or maybe not, you know, I don't know. Anyway, Deborah, please let them know what they need to do to win their point with you. To win your point, you're going to guess the lie. I do two truths and a lie. And these are statements which may or may not have anything to do with each other. So you get to, you know, <laughs> think all randomly and stuff. Sorry, <clears throat> American. <laughs> it's American. <laughs> really? Keurig. Keurig. They just want to sound fancy. Anyway, so, yeah, you're picking out the, the lie. Because she isn't as lie as me. I have more lies than she does. <laughs> but all you need it's much to easier for me to put down truths and then add a lie that I couldn't think of that many lies. No. Um, so what's that saying about me? Oh my gosh. Thanks. Welcome. It to tells me that you like to make up little stories. Okay. <laughs> me? No. Welcome in, Wendy. Um, Christina, tomorrow. Tomorrow video remember video uh -uh. wink 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 video okay so deborah let's hear your two truths and a lie and see what they're saying a b or c to okay. okay here we go a crochet thread is my jam i love working with it b i have seen multiple movies more than 20 times each or c I have made my own chive kimchi from an authentic recipe. She's Coco's putting a break in. You don't need it yet. Just when I call for it. <laughs> <laughs> the word origin is Dutch and moved to German. The company is American. Okay, that makes more I'm sense confused. because so confusing. I know the that the Americans did not come up with a nice little efficient coffee machine like that. Oh, they might not have come up with the coffee machine itself. I mean, heck, <laughs> too technical. But it's the name. The name. The name. <sighs> no, 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 no. Because there's so much talking be between. We, we kind of pick it up as soon as the letters start. But Deborah will throw at you when to do the, the next break. But for now, Deborah is going to repeat the options. Let's repeat. Escuchen y repitan. Oh, sorry, jump back to a Spanish lesson from high school. Um, looking for the lie now. A, crochet thread is my jam. I love working with it. B, I have seen multiple movies more than 20 times each. Or C, I have made my own chive kimchi from an authentic recipe. A bit of set. Alpha Bravo Charlie. <laughs> so leave me alone. I was trying to think of the French and I came out with the phonetics. I don't know anything in French. Tu parles de français? And I don't know anything useful. In Chinese. <laughs> Don't know anything useful in Mandarin. I can say I love you in over 101 languages. I used to be able to curse in seven, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's useful. Welcoming Kerry. I haven't forgotten. Thank you so much for the reminder. It helped. Thank you. Okay, Deborah, when you're ready. 
I'm ready. Is the break lady ready? Miss Coco, break, please lady. provide a break. Por favor. I don't know how to say break in Spanish, but I, know I could do it in. Uh, We're not going to do it on this channel, though. In Pig Latin. We're not doing it on this channel. There's your break. There's the break. There's the break. What do you think, Lisa? I know I'm you probably know. A crochet thread is not your jam. It ain't your thread either. I can't see it. I can't hold <laughs> it. <laughs> I knew about the kimchi and I'm like, well, I know that's for certain. I know that's a definite. And movies, she loves the movies. So I'm sure there, I know she's definitely seen one movie more than 20 times. There's bound to be plenty of others. So we yes, just I have to been to see Rocky Horror Picture Show more than 50 times in person. Um, have you dressed up? You would have dressed up. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. can't go and see it without dressing up. I would dress up and I would bring clothes with me for other people that were on the cast because I owned all the weird clothes. Uh, mind you, this was 30 years and wow. probably 90 pounds ago. So, you know, but <laughs> I'm not even kidding. <laughs> so but I used going to run for and dance in three inch stilettos. Um, love yeah. it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Right. I, if you want to go through the names, I've got Karen, but if you want to say the rest of them, Oh, Where's that pre-break that we had? Pre-break. <laughs> the pre-break yeah. break. <laughs> okay, there's all the Keurig talk, so it must have been after that. Okay. Karen, of course. Yes, she got it. Looks like Joe got it. Lynn, and I don't know how to say the last name. L -Y -N. Yeah, that's fine. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Um, knitting purple. Melissa, Vanessa Russell, Dodo, Miss Riggles. Oh, there's quite a few in this one. Yeah. And then some talk about cursing in Spanish. Mm -mm -mm. Not that kind of channel. Mexican Spanish has some fabulous cursing language, actually. No, no. no. Oh, we're not going to do it here. I'm just saying. No. no. No, no. Is that where we get to the break? Is that everybody then? Yes, that, that is everyone. Well done. Well done, well done, well done, well done. Um, okay. Welcome in, Ninj. Welcome in. The pre-break helps. Well, you know, I guess if you're Deborah, maybe. <laughs> I almost said A, but it seemed too obvious. With Deborah, you need to be obvious. You need to be obvious with Deborah. <laughs> Sometimes they'll be obvious. Because, as a matter of fact, I've talked about that in my little vloggy things because I have some crochet thread. And <laughs> look what Karen wrote. <laughs> and you see, when I have to look at my phone to look to see who did the thing. I have to take my glasses off. <laughs> oh. oh anyway refresh people refresh 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 oh. exactly i'm doing this side. You're, you're cold over there and i'm like i have my <laughs> ac on I've got no and I ain't even cooking me goose. Welcome in, Julie. <laughs> oh, me little, me little nobbles, me patootie. Um, okay. Hopefully, the refreshing has happened. I don't know how anyone could enjoy working with thread. Ask Miss Ingrid. Miss Ingrid loves working with thread. Some people, they just like it because it's so intricate and it, it creates wonderfulness. It just takes forever. But and know, that's how Linda Simpson expert. started crocheting. Mm -hmm. How could, I mean, whoa. My grandmother Go used to make beautiful doilies with all the little things. Uh, no. 
some people have got it. Some people just want to stay as far away from it as possible. Okay, here we go for number two. Are we ready? You're looking for my truth. So you need A, B or C only. One answer. Here we go. My last partner was just over four years ago. My last partner was just over 10 years ago. My last partner was just over six years ago. A, B or C. Nana Michelle learned with crochet thread and then switched. I guess everything is downhill and easy from there. Uh, but when you started the first part of your first sentence, I thought you were going to say, my partner was just over four feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I'd, love, I'd kind of love that I can rest my arm. <laughs> Tangled is making a table runner with thread. Oh, can't wait to see it. Oh, what an American poo poop head. Okay. Okay. Looking at the time, looking at the time, looking American at the time. American poop head. <laughs> you remember just before this, we were talking about vaccinations? And masks. My my teacher friend had an argument with a student three weeks ago about wearing a mask, and he was just adamant it, it's not going to happen. Don't be so stupid. It's pathetic. Yada yada. He's in hospital right now. I see you with COVID. <sighs> Play stupid games, win stupid prizes is what I keep saying to all of these people, or about these people, because most of the time you can't talk to them because they've you know. They've already got tubes in them and such. Yeah. Oh, Tabby over here, DK is the weight we get. We It's very rare you can find anything but DK over these parts. Very rare. Bailey. <laughs> it's like saying I'm a chihuahua. You are a chihuahua. Bailey is a chihuahua. Okay, oh, let me repeat it. <laughs> My last partner was a four years ago, B, 10 years ago, C, six years ago, over, over four years ago, over 10 years ago, over six years ago, which one, A, B or C? Jeremy's family there now has gotten COVID. But Rita, in a lot of places here in America, the vaccine, there is enough vaccine for every person and it's open for everyone over 12. It hasn't been approved for people under 12 yet. We have people here who are just, I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to wear a mask. You can't make me. Ugh. I mean, that's the attitude here. And I live in a very, in a rural area where break, there's a lot please. of that attitude. Oh, break, break, break. Well, but I, I yeah, it's awful. I, I, there, there's a lot of people that are saying no to the vaccine because it hasn't been tested or they don't believe in it. It, ha or, that's just it. it has been tested. My hubby took part in a clinical trial for the Johnson & Johnson because that's the clinical trial. Well, that was it, or, Coco, or you're out. Okay, you're out. Sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> She had to get overly technical. Kind of stuff being here, better than Franca. Us. Same here, Franca. We go anywhere. Yeah, I did the same. Don't have vaccine there. They got some Chinese stuff that didn't work, so they're without any help. And Australia don't have enough vaccines to go around. Anyway, let's get off this horrid, nasty subject and Zebra. Get on my soapbox and start going off. Anyway, yes, right. you're right. It um, could go for a little while. It could. A, B, or C. 
full despite the technicality that was trying to be thrown up there by Coco. I'm going to say A anyway because I don't understand why you don't have a partner now. So because I have a cat. <laughs> That doesn't stop me. <laughs> oh, I have a cat. Um, okay, let me let me scroll up to the beginning. Oh yeah. Now this took me a little while last night to try and figure it out, and it made me cry. Um the answer is B. It's been a decade. But we're not going down that road again. Okay, Deborah, give me the people who got it right, please. Technicality lady actually got the correct. We're answer. not going technical. We're not going technical, lady. No, 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 not technical. I mean, she answered B. Oh, she did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was just you know, being pedantic about it, um, <laughs> which I can appreciate actually. <laughs> um, also, Craftsy Wendy. Yep. Rita. Yep. Zara. Yep. Lynn. See, now this is just really depressing that people are getting it right because they're like, well, why would she have a partner recently? I mean, look at her. It's got to be way over 10 years ago. Like, really? Oh, Let's go. Okay, Zara. Yep. Well, Zara, uh, did I say Lynn? Yep. Vanessa Russell. Yep. Wow, hat trick, Vanessa. Hang on. Bella. Bella. Yep. So, and, and there's the break. <sighs> oh, it's depressing. But Tabby, I got it wrong again, too. So there you go. Refresh. <clears throat> I want to see how Deborah's going to refresh each time. Well, I'm refreshing on my phone. I don't know why. I don't, I don't believe you. The Lisa, your pants are on fire. I'm not wearing any pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's... Beanie was approximately two and a half when I last had a partner, approximately. And I was still worried because she'd only been starting to go outside for just under a year. And I was worried about leaving her. So when I went to my partner's, um, we went about six o'clock at night. And at eight o'clock, I was going, I've got to get home. I've got to go feed Beanie. I've got to feed Beanie. Can we go now? What are you doing? Can we get off the game? Can we go, please? Beanie needs to be fed. I'm really worried. She's out on her own. I don't know what to do. I've got so hit up. But that's not why we split up. Just so. I was going to say, if somebody doesn't understand the taking care of your pets thing, then they're mm. worth dropping anyway. Like he was, um, he was, um, he had a lot of money and he spent it on a lot of, um, non crochet hookers. Um, oh, yeah, Vanessa and her biscuit tea. Vanessa won one of my giveaways over my monetization podiversary. And won a box of biscuit tea. Unfortunately, she's now hooked. No pants Monday. Too I'm much information. Have to get on the internet and find some of this stuff. I've been wanting to try it. And I love a good a black tea, so. Oh, no, no, no. You've got to have milk with it. Got to have milk. Well, yes. I mean, but it's a black tea that starts off. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Welcome in, Straps. Welcome in. Okay, I'm hoping that you guys have had plenty of time to refresh because Deborah's going to hit us with one lie. Find it. A, B, or C. What's she telling Pork is about Deborah? Over to you. All righty. <laughs> this, if anybody has paid any attention at all to my channel, you'll at least be able to eliminate some answer or two. <laughs> yes, Coco. Um... We're going to start, we're looking for the lie, okay? A, I have never crocheted a bag. B, I have never sewn a dress. Or C, I have never woven a rug. Oh, 
Oh, so the pips break. Oh, bless her. Coco, take them off. Bella, is that the Yorkshire? If you get any fresher, you could eat me. I'm a little bit worried about what that might mean. <laughs> Welcome oh, in, know. Michelle. Be tomorrow is my hubby's what? birthday, which is why I'm off this week. And she's going to get down and dirty this week. She needs a whole week to recover. You know, <laughs> some might believe it, some might not. <gasps> Tabby, you'll have to let, please let me know if you get it. Please, please, please. Because I've got to let the person that paid the postage for it know as well. What's a tea hamper? Monetization podiversary. Tabby was... A winner of a tea hamper. I'm not telling you what's in it, but the idea is there's tea in it. <laughs> oh, so it's like basket o tea or something. Well, basket um, is a very very loose term. <laughs> it's, it's a boxer tea, boxer tea, not boxer or <laughs> tea, but <laughs> tea. Um, <laughs> spent a week in Chicago. Well, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Um, that's what happens when you. Well, nobody can see anything. They can't even see the the Deborah necklace I'm wearing. Unfortunately, no. I did work on it though, Karen. Oh, Ninja, please pass on my condolences. Oh, hubby's blanket. That's never going to finish, is it? It's just something that we talk about every every vlog that Deborah does. No, I still haven't done hubby's blanket. That's going to continue for months. <laughs> but I actually did work on it yesterday, but it was so hot that I had to have the fan on and turn the AC down because it's a blanket and it's, you know, it's getting big. And I did three rows and I was like, OK, that's enough. Well, something, something. Okay, I do you want to redo your oh, thing? Yes, yes. See, sí, claro. Um, looking for the lie. A, I have Thanks. never crocheted a bag. Uh, B, I have never sewn a dress. Or C, I have never woven a rug. I'm going to struggle on this one because I I'm a little bit unsure between two answers. Between two, please. I've I've got a feeling I know one of them, but at the same time, my head's going. No, remember when she said blah blah blah? Oh yeah. Mm. So let's go with that one then. Yeah, but remember when she said blah 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 blah? Oh yeah. I blah, blah, blah a lot. <laughs> oh, call it when you're ready, Deb. I am so ready. Miss <laughs> Coco, please give us a break. Give us a break. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar because I want some chocolate. <gasps> oh, yes, please. I'm debating whether to say on my channel to do a video and say no Twizzlers. I think I'm going to be stamping myself in the, in the head by saying that. I kind of want to say it, but at the same time, I really don't want to say it. <laughs> okay, Deborah. The answer is... At Lisa, that would be wrong. <laughs> it's, it's, big, isn't it? it's it's B. Um because <gasps> I I have recently crocheted a bag um because of that the felt it bake it bake mm -hmm. the bag thing. Um and I've never woven a rug. I wouldn't even know how to start. 
but I have sewn a lot because I worked in some sewing factories uh, 25 years ago. Wait, 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 stop, stop, stop. I said C. No, you said B. I said C. Did you? Wipe the rug. Yes, I said C. You but, that's not, okay. but that's not the right answer. We were looking for the lie. Yeah, you said you've never woven a rug. That's right. I have never woven a rug. So that's the lie. Someone got it right. No, no. The statement is, I have never woven a rug. Yeah. That's the truth. I've never woven a rug. The lie oh. is, I have never sewn a dress. Oh, my gosh. She's twisting. Oh, my gosh. She couldn't have my melon. <laughs> I, I own five sewing machines and I just don't pull them out and use them because now apparently I just want to do all the crochet all the time. Welcome in Sunday. Welcome in. <sighs> Poo -poo head. Okay. So let me scroll up. No, you can scroll up. Never listen to me again. I will never listen to you again, Zach, ever. <laughs> Give me the people with the right answer, please, Miss Deborah. I'm, I'm okay, waiting. Um, she twisted the answer. See, with Deborah, you're going to really have to listen and then twist the answers around and then twist them back again. Okay, I found the break. So that's good. And we're looking for B. Uh, so Lynn. Got that correct. Um, let's let's be fair. In my head, I was actually right because I said C. She she has done a bag. She has sewed. She's never done a rug. That was okay. Okay. Right. Who was it? Lynn. Yes. Lynn, yes. Uh, Miss Bailey. Miss Baylor, the Chihuahua. Yeah. And I, we got a lot of talk about teas and blankets. Uh. And then we had the break. Oh wow! I've I don't swear in church, Rita, because I don't go to church anymore. <laughs> um, <laughs> hello again, Miss Diane. Zach has sent you a message in Messenger. Everybody else, please refresh, refresh. I'm way too cold to refresh anymore. My hands are now. My fingertips are starting to go numb, which is really weird because according to my PC, the temperature outside is 20 degrees. It is so lying. It's trying to join in on the game. Lying. 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 And yes, Rita, five sewing machines and two of them are sergers. Yeah. What's a serger? Um, it's a sewing machine that will sew and cut and it does an overlock stitch. Handy. Expensive. Handy. And just sitting on my sewing table. Feeling neglected and gathering dust. Okay. Let's carry on. For me, you are looking for the truth. A, B, C. All you need, A, B, or C. What's the point in getting dressed, Zach? Just go as you are. Go as you are. Okay. Handy paperweight. Yeah, ain't it just? Okay. Listen up. I had a massive crush on Freddie Mercury because of which song? A, Crazy Little Thing Called Love. B, I Want to Break Free. C, Radio Gaga. Radio Gaga. Oh, that's tough. Just go as you are, Zach. People will part ways to allow you through. It makes things way quicker. <laughs> it does when I do it. Oh, and just I for the record, mm -hmm. I am also pantsless. 
but huh. I'm wearing a dress. So. Ditto. Because <laughs> it's not that kind of channel. It's not that kind of channel. I've been told by YouTube it is that kind of channel. And they're threatening termination again. Not that they ever stop it, but mm. but I only found that out just before this. I'm not amused at all. What? Apparently, I'm begging people for personal information. It's down to me. Oh, for Pete's sake. I've got a feeling it's because of my nosy notebook thing. Hey ho. Anyway, let's repeat the question thingy. <clears throat> I had a mahoosive, mahoosive crush on Freddie Mercury, which all got started by one song. A, crazy little thing called love. B, I want to break free. C, Radio Gaga. <laughs> I so want to sing the songs. And I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm um, hearing that if that's, you know, any consolation. <laughs> Zach, maybe put some pants on then. Maybe. Or a skirt if you so choose, you know. <laughs> What's the wrong? We don't we don't judge here. Collots. Go for the in between. Collots. I never had a pair of collots and always wanted a pair. I had a scort. Welcome in, Froggy. Can't believe you're still awake, girl. I can believe you're still awake, but I can't believe you're still awake. Okay, break in the chat, please. <laughs> if I get it wrong, I'm going to scream and cry. Oh, heck. Quick, what did Frank say? What was Frank James? <laughs> Let's see if she's going to scream and cry. I'm scrolling up, I'm scrolling up. Okay. Got it. Where's the break? Where's the break? There it is. I'm going to wear a pair of bright blue shorts. So we're going from shorts that you won't go out in to a pair of shorts that you will go out in. Okay. And the answer, Deborah, is? I think C, Radio Gaga. Why? Because you tend to try to hum the song every time you think about it. I want to sing all of them. Yeah. But again, it's just a guess. I d wouldn't think that you would be that enamored of the video for I Want to Break Free. That's just not your thing. But <laughs> do you remember that video? Maybe it is with oh, his no. pink top and Tash with the B5. I mean, but let's let's face it. I'm sorry, but um, oh, why have I forgotten his name now? Oh, my gosh. He made such a great girl, school girl. The drummer. Why can't I think of his name? I can't think of his name either, but I can see his face and I can I can see the video. Yes. Absolutely amazing girl. But you're wrong. Was it's it a? a crazy little thing called Love? I first heard and saw them on a show that we had over here called Top of the Pops, which had new and upcoming and the top charting bands for half an hour it would go between the top 10 and crazy little thing called love came on and he walked down the catwalk with a woman on each arm and as he came toward the camera he bounced down onto his knees stuck his crutch into, into the camera and i went oh, that was it that was it that was the point where i started really liking freddie <laughs> Roger, thank you. I so wanted to say Robert, and I knew that was wrong. Roger, thank you, thank you, thank you, Ninja. Okay. Deborah, could you let me know who got wow. it right, please? Okay, so it was A. Let's scroll through. <laughs> K. 
Karen. Mm-hmm. Gina. <laughs> I'm getting a warm flush and stone knee. Miss Bailey got it correct again. I who was before, after Karen, rather. Who was after Karen? Gina. Gina Barnett. Gina. Yep. And then we've got Baylor. Yep. Uh huh. And <laughs> Dodo. Yep. Julie Woolly Knits. Julie. Jimmy Julie. Yep. Life and Yarn Tangle. <laughs> if you could see how I've just spelt Julie. Oh my gosh. It's a good job I I can see it. Miss Tangled. How many has Lynn gotten right now? Because there's another correct answer. Right. She just done another one. That's a yeah. four. She's in the lead. Carrie. That's Miss Elephant, right? Yes. Yeah. And then we have the break. <sighs> Frank, I thought you didn't like me anymore after I said that your nationality was wrong. <laughs> My insides are so warm and toasty right now, and <laughs> it's not that kind of channel, Lisa. What? I'm just warm, all right. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Although on a, on the musical side of that, I'm kind of jealous because the hubby has got got to see Queen a couple of times, <gasps> um, long before we met, of course. Oh. But yeah, he says they, they put on a fantastic show. Oh heck yeah! Oh, the, I when I was growing up, see this should be a two truths and this should be a lie truth thingy in here. But memorize it for future. Um, as I was growing up and I was thinking about my children, I really wanted them to know about, to witness, and go to the concert of. Queen and Michael Jackson. Couldn't care less about anything else. Those were the two showman style that I really wanted them to go to. But there are a lot of good uh, front men to bands, and Freddie <laughs> was really one of the best. <laughs> Tabby. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to play this week and then Deborah decided to come up and then I was going to play next week, but someone else is coming up. So it's <clears> not happen. And it looks like we've got somebody for the week after that as well. Cause people actually want to come up now. Woohoo! Bon Jovi. Because oh. it's fun. Oh. Nobody believes that. Michael Jackson was definitely a front man. He was a back man, side man, top man, bottom man. He was, the man. He was and Prince. I would have loved to have seen Prince perform live. That such a talented so cool. individual. We are due for some trivial pursuit. We can't co-host with trivial pursuit though. I hope you guys are refreshing, by the way, because we're about to have Deborah's lie. Because she can't help it. She has to lie. She must lie. But just one. So the others are true. She says, and this is her fifth. Oh, Carrie, Carrie or Bob Prince. Prince. <gasps> Just. Prince was touring on the Purple Rain tour when I was in high school, and I wasn't allowed to go because I wasn't allowed to do anything in those years. I wanted to go. Welcome in, Sarah. Oh, no. <laughs> actually, um, <laughs> We'll, we'll get all so these big well. Brooks. Well, no, no. To give him credit, I'm not a country music fan at all. Mm -hmm. The hubby is. And he has seen Garth Brooks and he says Garth Brooks definitely is a showman. He enjoys it. And you because you can tell when the performer is enjoying what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And he says, fantastic show. So yeah, Garth Brooks, sure, I'd go see him. I mean. I even know some of his songs, me, the non-country girl that I am. I ain't Moroccan. Ain't nothing to do with me. No. Genesis and Nickelback. Damn. 
Oh, I bet that Big was fun. And then Garth, like, right, that's what I was thinking, Tabby. That's what I was thinking. The, the, I've only seen two concerts. One of them was Eminem and one of them was The Police. And the majority of the people in the chat have no idea who The Police were, but that was on my bucket list. I love The Police. He's got a very big feet, Deborah. <laughs> <laughs> It is not that kind of channel. <laughs> You're a bad girl. <laughs> but it's true, Mr. Gordon. I couldn't help it. I had such a... Getting down to London, I was so majorly travel sick. Majorly travel sick. I chucked my guts up twice before I got there, and it only takes just over an hour. Twice before I got there, as I was heading into the stadium, this headache migraine hit me so hard. And I was asked if I wanted to miss it. No, this was my bucket list. I'm going in. Where I was, I was approximately 20 rows from the front, but I was on the side. I could see his feet. Julie, sorry, I apologise. <laughs> <laughs> Besides that, he's a bass player, and bass players have fantastic hands. <sighs> Tantric. Okay, yeah. so <laughs> yeah. go down the road. Okay, Deborah, <laughs> let's get on with your question, shall we? <laughs> All right. Who Gordon Webb is? Who's Gordon Webb? Oh my gosh, Deborah, go, go, please, go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're looking for the lie on mine. Um. A, I dropped out of high school. B, I took computer classes in high school. Or C, I set the curve in high school honors chemistry one term because someone said I couldn't. <clears throat> Welcome back, Jen. Now you take it easy. Now you take it easy. I, would, I will point out that despite my thumping migraine, as soon as I came out of the concert, yes, I did chuck up again. But during the concert, I stood up, I was singing along, I was, well, I say singing very loosely, waving my arms about all the rest. And one thing that made me laugh so much was the drummer, the amount of sticks he got through because he was whacking those drums so hard, he was breaking sticks constantly and they were flying all over the place <laughs> and like i found it hilarious but big feet, really big feet yes please rest rest until then jen please 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 drink drink rest drink drink rest nap if you can i miss live music i don't miss the crowds <laughs> I, I forgot how much i missed my hormones <laughs> I'm a hot, but at the same time, I'm, I've still got my goose pimples, but I'm kind of, whoo, it's a bit warm in it. <laughs> oh, I'm making my dinner for work now, so I have to do it before I go to work. That way I'll just put it, then make it and go rest. Oh. Oh. Deborah, could you uh, repeat your thing? Ah, uh, yes, yes. Yeah. Looking for the lie on mine. We'll try to let Lisa recover for a minute. Um, oh. A, I dropped out of high school. B, I took computer classes in high school. Or C, I set the curve in high school honors chemistry one term because someone said I couldn't. Now, now, Chihuahua, now, now. <laughs> Oh, Bailey, 
um, drummers have great rhythm. La, 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 my gosh. We went down another one. Oh, whack. Lead guitar players tend to be a little too all about themselves. But Good bassist. Girl. Good girl, Carrie. Yeah. Call it when you're a lot of musicians. <laughs> Call it when you're ready, girl. Carrie, oh. if you need to call it off, then so be it. I'd rather you you didn't. If you've got a migraine, you've got to stay away from the pixels. Miss Coco, can we please have the break? <laughs> I think my water's broke. <laughs> well, Bailey, my hubby uh, played rhythm guitar and has dabbled in the bass a bit, but with his hand, he has a hard time playing the stringed instruments anymore. So, but yeah. Guess your answer. Oh, are we ready? I, I didn't even see the break. I was just thinking about bass players. Um, what is your answer? What do you think it is? <laughs> I don't know anymore because you keep twisting everything, B. Hi, twisting. You said B? Yeah. Yeah, they it's actually have, correct. They didn't and have computers when the dinosaurs ran the earth, so there's no way. Pretty much exactly right. Uh they, they there were no computer classes. I graduated in 1988, okay? That was an eon ago. Um, but yes, it is true. I dropped out of high school twice in my senior year. By that time I was already living on my own and I was working three jobs. There there was a whole story there. And I also set the curve in honors chemistry. I used to coast through that class with C's because I hated doing the homework. I didn't think I should have to do homework because school is school and home is home. And we had one person in our class that was in a bunch of our classes. A whole bunch of us had classes together. Super smart, set the curve in everything. The curve came out that term and everybody was like, oh man, Bill, you, you heard us again, setting the curve so high. And Bill's like, not me. Check her. And it was me. And they're like, oh. I said, yeah, that's what happens when I actually turn in my work. <laughs> when I turn it in. <laughs> and that was really the, the thrust of it there is when I would turn in well, my work. Um, okay, I have well, to find the pre break. Well done, well done, well done. And who got it right? Oh, there's the pre I really like this pre break thing. Coco. Oh, you were keeping great. that in, huh? So you I love it because I can find the beginning. It's great. Um, okay, the correct answer. And that are just the letters? Like, doesn't that help? No, because there's always a lot of stuff in between. Um, um, Coco got it right. Coco got it right. Okay. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Tabby. Oh, oh, my gosh. Tabby's first one. Tabby. Oh, my gosh. Yep. Joe didn't get it right. He didn't think I could set the curve. Uh, let's see. <laughs> oh, hang on. It moved. Oh, gosh. I've lost it. Blast it. Bailey it refresh. Bailey refresh. Bailey refresh. Bailey refresh. Refresh. Bailey. Bailey refresh. Carrie. Michelle. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Hold the front. You've got YouTube open, right? I need to know. Michelle's just. It's come up in StreamYard as new member, but Michelle was already a member. So does that mean she's upgraded? It says member on mine and YouTube as well. It doesn't say upgrade. Maybe it's just a renew. She was a member when she came in earlier. I'm all confused. I also Michelle, you got me confused. But thank you. I appreciate getting confused. <laughs> upgraded. There you go. Tabby says upgraded. Up. Oh, she's an OG. Deborah, you lied to me. I just she's a Twizzler. I've almost got a whole packet of Twizzlers. Oh my gosh. <laughs> thank you, Michelle. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for everyone who corrected Deborah. Thank you. <laughs> Sometimes I just keep correcting. <laughs> she does. Thank you so much, Michelle. Sorry, don't eat them, but that's the whole point. As soon as I've got an entire packet, Tabby. I am going to nom. No one can stop me. Deborah. 
<laughs> Carrie is the next correct answer. Yep. Froggy. Froggy. Yep. I'm a looking. And there's the break. Lovely. Silver, I hope you're joining in. Welcome in, Jamie. Welcome in. <sighs> I haven't called down yet. Bailey and everyone, please refresh. I know Bailey is lagging. Silver, I don't know how she's still awake. I just, I, I don't get it. Froggy's still awake. I kind of understand. Coco, awake. I don't get it. I don't care. I'm using her for a staff them. Good girl, Bailey. Okay, she's back. She's back on track. Well, in that case, I'll hurry up and do mine then. Okay. This is an interesting one. This is interesting. I think it's interesting, although it's really boring, but I think it's interesting. So, <coughs> we ready? <clears throat> Remember, A, B, or C, you're looking for the truth. The truth. Here we go. My most regrettable haircut was getting it ever cut at all, a number two clipping, or forget the cut, it was a perm. Hmm. You see, I'm I'm doing new material, Deborah. Oh. New material. <laughs> so proud of you. Thank you. It helps to have it all in a nice, neat little form, doesn't it? In laminate. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> oh. And Sarah, the lurker, she's still joining in. I love it when you guys say that you're lurking, and you, you have to you have to put the answer just in case, just in case <laughs> we can't help ourselves. I know, right? <laughs> I just gotta do it. I just gotta do one letter. <laughs> I know. I applied for another new position within the company, you know, and I had my interview, and it went well. <clears throat> And I'll find out this week while I'm on vacation if I was chosen. And if I get the new position, I may have to lay off the multitasking because I'll have to learn some new things. Ugh. So do we do we get to try some of this, Silva? Do we get to see it? I got my hair cut a couple of weeks ago. Best diet ever. I seriously need I haven't been to the hairdresser now in two years. And I'm seriously thinking yeah. about going in October. <laughs> seriously. Yeah, we're not going to... Joe, Joe, that was Friday. <laughs> who, who was the Merkin? Who was the lurking Merkin? Was it Marie? Was yes. It Marie? Marie the Merkin. And she was not too happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> the cake is being stopped. Like, I'm so sorry, Silver. I'm so sorry. Okay, going again. So my most regrettable haircut was A, getting it ever cut at all. B, a number two clipping, which was all over. Or three, forget the haircut, it was a palm. See, we say her name and out she pops. <laughs> Four tears, two double chocolate and two chocolate chip and loaf cake. Oh, what's loaf cake? Oh. I don't ever make it easy or just buy one from tesco what's a loaf cake i don't know what a loaf cake is silver okay i don't either but i want it again <laughs> i don't do cake i don't like cake i'm not a cake fan i'll have <laughs> yours no 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 no. if i'm given one i'll eat it <laughs> <laughs> can't take this staying in bed crud i'm used to never sitting always on the go but well you know Marie, it's about bleeding time that you're rested. Let's face it, you've had months of being on your feet and not having any time and doing this and doing that and doing the other. And now you have to. So flipping do it. 
<sighs> Revenge is sweet. Oh, work. I hope it comes in Twizzler form. Just as <laughs> soon it's there. Oh, okay. Got you. Okay. That's kind of what was in my head, but, you know, you're in a different part of the country to me, so it may well have been something completely different. Exactly, Tabby. It's cake. It has to be good. Yeah. Okay, yeah. break in the chat, please. I cut my own hair and I haven't cut my hair since 2019. Yeah, mine was mine was beginning in 2019. Do you like those malt loaves that look like bricks? Yes, I do like malt loaf. Love it. I don't know what that is, but I'd try it. It's malt loaf. <laughs> Very it's descriptive. It's malty and it's black and it's got currants or raisins or sultanas. I don't know the difference between either of them, but it's got them through it. And oh. when you when you squidge it, it stays squidged. <laughs> like when you squash it, like it just stay. It's not like spongy. It's just it's like a it black. Sounds like, like a fruit cake, but without the fruit, without most of the fruit. Sort of. With a lot of malt. Anyway, awkward Ashley said it tastes like dirt. Very, very tasty dirt, though, especially with a little bit of butter. Anyway, Deborah, A, B, or C? Which one is the one with the clippers? That was B, right? B, number two, all over. That's what I'm going to guess, just because I really have no clue. Okay, well, you're wrong. Of course. <laughs> <clears throat> um, I've never had a perm. I've only had half of my head clipped to a number two, and I didn't regret it because that side of my head was dyed to look like a ladybird, and I loved it. And I'm seriously thinking about getting it done again. Seriously. Sounds the awesome. The answer is A ever getting it cut at all because I've always just wanted to grow my hair full stop. So that's the answer. Find me winners, please, Miss Deborah. I will. Um, the first oh, A on there is Vanessa. Oh, again. Oh, she's battling with Lynn now. Then Joe. Mm-hmm. Dodo. Yep. Sarah. Oh, Crafty. the yeah. lurking gherkin. Gina. Not the merkin, the gherkin. Yep. Gigi. Oh. Christina. Oh. Yep. Okay, going through cake talk. <laughs> going through cake talk refresh people refresh 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 and that's it once we got on cakes we stopped answering so am i doing a deborah it depends what 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 is classes doing a deborah really because there's a lot there okay <laughs> what wouldn't be doing a deborah <laughs> Does malt loaf taste like... The thing is, I'd send somebody a malt loaf, but it is heavy as a brick. But I love it. A little bit... I think that's probably the only thing that I'll say, look, if it hasn't got butter on it. No, I, I eat it plain, but it just tastes that bit better with a bit of butter. Bit of butter. I hate this game. <laughs> Franca, it's easy to hate all the games we play on here, but the, the fact is, you're giving it a go. I don't think I've gotten a single one right today, have I? I mean. <laughs> yeah. I would have had all yours right if you hadn't twisted the question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love, I love, Sor Serene's my favorite for sure, Dodo. But lunchbox story, it just ain't enough. Just ain't enough. Just keeps getting better for me. Stay tuned, Lisa's followers. Oh work. Oh work. Oh work. She worries me. That girl worries me. 
I'm going to buy a malt, malt loaf and throw it at you. I'd be very happy to be knocked out by a malt loaf. Very, very happy. Very. See, now, I would say that the only cake that I actually enjoy, cake, is real fruit cake. You know, that's been made, like, two years previous, and it's you, you, traditional wedding cakes, kind of fruit cake, that's been there lurking for a good two three years and matured and <sighs> okay you should have refreshed deborah get on with it all righty we're going to be looking uh, for the lie and these are all all three of these statements are based about food oh because i do like ice cream okay a I order my BK, that's Burger King, Whopper, plain. B, I order a well-marbled ribeye, medium rare. Or C, I prefer hand-cut fries to curly fries. I know the answer. Because of what you said in one of my previous games when we were talking about this particular thing. And you say you don't remember things. You took the mick out of me. You joined the chat taking the mick out of me with how I like. And things. you were like, no, it's got to be. Mm -hmm. or, mm. So I'm going with that one for sure. Yeah, Definitely. Come here. You wait, I'm going to be bleeding, get it wrong now. <laughs> She'll come out with the answer and I'll be like, oh. Look, it's a teeny weeny little tippy, 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 teeny, teeny weeny little cat. <laughs> He's so tiny. I'm in my dining room, and next to me is his water fountain. He was just drinking. So, so he he's popped him. over here on his way out. Yes, he has a water fountain. Don't you? Yeah. Cheers, my boy. He's so tiny, teeny for, tiny. <laughs> for anybody who doesn't know, my little teeny boy here is 18 pounds. Welcome in, love too. Look. Oh, he's so tiny. <laughs> the kitty goatee. <laughs> yes, he has got a goatee. He looks like he's got massive eyeliner on. He does, doesn't he? It's, yeah. it's his pretty eyeliner. He's my pretty boy. And he's just so tiny, but you're going to have to repeat. Oh. Oscar, you want to read? Okay. Looking for the lie here. A, I order my BK Whopper plain. B, I order a well-marbled ribeye, medium rare. Or C, I prefer hand cut fries to curly fries. Good morning, love two. Jamie's is tiny too. No, you cannot go on the table. No. You can sit in my lap. Showing off her kitty emoji. <sighs> oh, no, I don't want anyone touching my belly. Definitely not. Okay when you're ready oh uh miss coco please break and oscar says oh break as well you can't hear him but he is purring because he loves getting attention from his mama vanessa's asking for no oh hello no animal porn please oh I can't remember who said that. Someone commented on Beanie's, it might have been Karen, commented on Beanie's um, video from this morning and said something about keeping it clean and it's not that kind of channel or something. It's nice to see it kept. I can't remember how the comment was, but it was referring back to Beanie being the porn star again. Really? Okay. So, you wait. This is where I get it wrong. Badly wrong. I've got a really bad feeling now I'm going to say B. Why would you say B? I'm just curious. Because I'm almost certain you said that you, if you're going to have a steak, you like it well done. You like it cooked. 
No, that would be wrong. <laughs> nope. The correct answer is A. I order my BK Fine. Whopper plain. If my Whopper is not messy AF, it ain't happening. Okay. It's got to have all the things. All the trends. It's messy. See, and all um, I think of was you, you order it plain, and when you get it home, you shove everything that you want in it. That's all I could think of. It's got to all be made there. And um, yes, as far as B, a well marbled ribeye, the perfect temperature for it is medium rare. Um, normally, I do like my steaks very rare, but if it's well marbled, you get a lot more of that felt, that fat melting in there um, at a medium rare, and it's just perfect. Yeah, so. yeah. De well, Deborah's not doing the reminders, you see. She's great at the reminders when she's that side in the chat. She ain't so good with the reminders in here, but I keep forgetting too because my mind is, it's, it only see if it's a flipping colander. <laughs> Deborah, you're going to have to go through and give me the, give me the winners. Hang on, look, there's the pre-break. Okay. We're looking for A, and the first one with it right was Joe. Yeah. Yep. And Patrick. then Bailey. Yep. Karen. Yep. Melissa. Yep. Jamie. Yep. Butterfly Jen. Jen, you're supposed to be resting. I refuse to take your correct answer. Sort of, even though I've written it down. <laughs> yes. Gina. Yep. Froggy. Yeah. Lynn. Surprise, surprise. Yep. <laughs> Lynn's doing really well. <laughs> Kitty talk. And that's it. That still quite a few. Still yeah. quite a few. I hope you're refreshing people. I had a silver tabby. Oh Dodo. All good. Thank you very much for joining us, my dear. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Dodo is my latest nosy notebook fodder that I'm probably getting told off by YouTube for. Who knows? Who cares? Bring on the nosy notebook. I want all your personal details, including your bank account number and your mother's maiden name, okay? You wait, they'll take this one down now. <sighs> Let's face it, the nosy notebook, seriously, it's practically got that in it anyway. When are we playing the S word again? Never, ever, ever. As long as I have co-hosts, we're never playing that again. Ever. We will never speak of it again. I'll leave me running in the background. See, this is why I don't need to get exercise, because people have me running. I burn me calories. Okay. Shall we do? Okay, Deborah. You're going to pick which of three things we're running out of time. We've got to be careful. So which of three TV, serious note or hatred? Welcome in, Kaylin. Just because of the way you said it. Hatred. Okay. Hatred. hatred. It, it will be. Here we go. This is going to annoy a lot of people in the chat. <laughs> Deborah chose it. Okay, here goes. Or you are looking for the truth. A, B or C, the truth. I hate being called babe. I hate being called mom, ma'am, etc. I hate being called both of the above. Hmm. I've got the police playing in my head again. <sighs> Jamie's lost. If anybody can help with the map, it would be much appreciated. Mm. 
welcoming Kathy. Gosh, we've got a lot of C's. Wow. Pacific. Atlantic. My glass has way too much air in it. <laughs> way too much air. <laughs> oh, I don't even have a glass. Does this mean you'd like it shown tangled? Because I can. I think I'm a little behind your long chat with viewing by her. This is why I say refresh. This is why I say refresh. Okay, I'm gonna repeat. I have to relook at the options again. Okay, I hate being called babe. I hate being called mom. I hate being called both of the above or ma'am ma'am mom whichever way you want to put it i don't know how to refresh go bugger off out bugger off back in again if you fancy coming back in again i wonder what you'd call me i do joe isn't that what we're supposed to call you this is Tangled's table runner that she's currently working on. Oh, wow. And she says it's with thread, but it looks very, very thick. And I'm amazed at how loose those stitches look for somebody who is an exceptionally tight crocheter. How pretty. So that's a table runner. That's it. That's all you need to do. Coco's already put the break in. Oh, flipping heck. Coco's beat me. All right, fine. Gosh, she's trying to rush me, Deborah. She's trying to rush me. <sighs> she's like the director out there going, you know. Now, like, now. <laughs> now. Um, Deborah, what's the answer? I did already. Tabby, I opened with yours. I opened with it. I was talking behind it. I opened with it. But you were obviously getting coffee, I'm guessing. I'm delirious. Well, what's not? I think that it's C. It's both of them. But Why? then again, I'm probably wrong. So, Why do you think it's both? Well, because I don't see you like being called by random people, babe. Hey, babe. You know, bring me a coffee. No. Of course, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I'm guessing. I'm... <laughs> Monumental. You've been wrong every single time. <laughs> but not this time! You got it right! <laughs> Woo! Uh, oh, how did you know I needed a table runner, says Bailey? Is it a thread or a yarn? It's a number eight thread. Testing it out on number ten. I was probably in ads. You was, you said that you had to go get coffee and Karen said, you better hurry up and go and get your coffee. But I opened and said hello to everybody with your temperature blanket up and Deborah is in here to vouch. And I'm guessing Karen probably is as well. So <laughs> I showed it. All right. Very, because we even very spoke pretty. that you had to keep it going and not put yeah. it down. Okay, Deborah. You ready to give me the 20 million people that answered it correct? <laughs> yeah, you ready to take it all down? <laughs> like, really? Loads. <laughs> okay, we will start with the first one that is Coco. Yes. Life and Yarn Tangled. Yes. Now, Julie Woolly Knits didn't say C, but she said both. I don't that know counts. if she realized. That counts. We can take okay. That. Zara no. said C. Uh, wait, 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 go find Zara. There she is. Yep. Uh, Bailey. Yep. Tabby. Yep. Oh, Tabby, Melissa. you got another one. Yep. <laughs> Melissa. <laughs> uh, yep. Jamie. Yep. Silver Wings. 
Well done, Silva. Yep. Froggy. Yep. Patrick. Uh, it looks Patrick. like Julie corrected herself a little while later and said C instead of saying both. So that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Essentially the same answer. So yeah. Ingrid. Yep. Christina. Yep. Michelle's mosaics and more. Yep. Sarah. The, Twizzler, the fresh Twizzler. Yep. Kaylin. Yep. Kathy's and what? Was I Kathy? Vanessa. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love to crochet. Oh. Yep. Joe. Yep. Lynn. <laughs> yep. Gina. Yep. And that's it. Okay. Wait, did I miss one? Somebody saying I said she didn't either. Oh, silver oh, wings. Did we get silver wings? Well, I've got silver. Okay. We got, got you. Because I said congratulations, silver. That's right. We got you. Because in the in the chat, yeah, because I've been known to miss the stuff before. I have to have a backup, you know, brain and eyeballs. Okay. So hopefully people have refreshed. Frank is telling me to sod off, but Dodo's got me running, so apparently I already have sodded off. Welcome in, Jennifer. Deborah, give us your lie. I'm going to actually make you choose <laughs> between, uh, among three. Um, you've, you, you've got this one. Your next one is your last question. Well, okay. you know, the last one, so... Oh, if it's my last one, I'm going to pick it because I think this one is fun. Okay. Your, la your, your next one is your last one. Oh, okay. Well, will it be social media, jobs, or celebrities? Social media. All right. We're looking for the lie. A, I have a Twitter account. B, I have an Instagram. Or C, I have a TikTok. I've got a TikTok. It's up there on the wall. It goes TikTok, 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 TikTok. I don't know that I have any analog clocks in my house that actually run like that. Have you not? I've got three. I've got a sperm on the bedroom wall. I've got ladybirds on the spare room. And i got butterflies in here. Everyone has sperm on their bedroom wall. Don't deny it. <laughs> One day, Lisa, I will tell you a story, but not today. <laughs> <laughs> work. What have I got on the bedroom wall? See, now, if, if anybody watches my Beanie's Besties, I can show. <laughs> I can show. But I can't, I can't show anybody else. Yes, Franca. But that comment does need to be um, deleted, please. Please, please, yeah. please. Somebody delete it, please. If Franca doesn't do it, please. <laughs> <laughs> that really makes me question a couple of things, Franca. It really <laughs> makes me question a couple of things. Um. I'm really unsure how to answer it as well. Should I repeat? Is it time? <laughs> Go for it. Okay. Looking for the lie here. A, I have a Twitter account. B, I have an Instagram. Or C, I have a TikTok. Which is the lie. I vaguely remember you saying about one of them vaguely and because it's a thing over there i'm pretty sure you've got that one i'm unsure about that one though since you don't have 
any of them, do you? <laughs> I don't have any of them. <laughs> <laughs> nope. That's the way I like it. Is it that's the way? Uh -huh, uh -huh, I like it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That's the way. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I like it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Anyway, when you're ready. Miss Coco, could you please provide us with a break? I have a TikTok on my wall that the kids like to knock it down. <laughs> Beanie, when she was a kitten, she sat in front of that clock and she just watched it like <laughs> for ages. And it's like, what are you doing? And she was just fascinated by the second hand. So I had the second hand removed. Now I've got a little, little butterfly that goes around. Anyway. Guess your answer. No, no, no. Give us your guess. I'm almost certain you have Twitter because you're an argumentative person and you like to get in there and go, Ur. so I'm going with the Twitter, but you've got it. I'm almost certain you've got TikTok because it's a thing over there, so I'm going to say B. No. It's a Twitter that you don't have? No, no, I, I have a Twitter. Um, which I mostly use for political stuff. and uh, But um, I have an Instagram, which I post a lot of pictures on, but I do not have a TikTok. And I know that we have a ton of people who just play. Wow. Dying. I ain't doing so well. Looking for the pre-break. There, now that's the break. Oh, for Pete's sake. Who's Pete? Is he single? Maybe. Okay, you like ready to start taking down. I'm ready. Okay. okay. The first correct answer again yeah. is, yeah. Uh, is, uh, is uh, Coco. Coco. Yep. Yeah. Then, then Jamie. Jamie. Yep. Bailey. Bailey. Yep. I love to crochet. Love to crochet. Yep. Julie, Julie Williams. Williams. Yeah. Yep. Miss Kaylin. Yep. Zara. Zara. Yep. Melissa. Melissa. Yep. Michelle. Michelle. Yep. Ingrid. Ingrid. Yep. Gina. Gina. Yep. Kathy Zemwitz. Yep. Tabby. Tabby. Wow. Well done, Tabs. Yep. Been yarn tangle. Tabby and Karen are level begging. Yep. Ninja. 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 Yep. Vanessa, Vanessa. Russell. Yep. Sarah. Sarah. Lurking Gherkin, yep. Uh, Karen. Karen. Oh, they're not level pegging. <laughs> yep. And she was it. She got in right before the break. Okay. 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 So, Marie says, okay, pain meds kicking in. We'll watch later. Have fun. I'm glad the pain meds are kicking in, but don't bust the gut mm -hmm. just because pain meds are kicked in. Remember to rest. I'm so good at this dumb game. It's such a bad dumb game that every single co-host wants to play it. <laughs> Drives me nuts because I have to keep on coming up with new answers and everyone knows everything about me, so that makes it really difficult. Obviously, Obviously we all know. <sighs> okay. So you're going to choose my last one. While everybody is refreshing 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 um deborah's gonna pick my last one which you can say bucket group lipstick job or weather that's a lot to choose from i know I'm sorry. I wrote a lot down yesterday. <laughs> I got in the flow. 
Um, how about buckets? Bucket. Deborah wants to see my bucket. You know that's really bad slang over here. Really bad slang. Really? Really? Mm -hmm. If a female has slept around a bit, oh, she's classed as a bucket. There's usually a word before that over here. Oh no, it's just just, just a one word here. Just the one. Just y'all have abbreviated it. Don't worry, Coco. It's mine and Deborah's, and then we're done. This is my last one. And Deborah's going to do one more, and then we are finito. Finito. Okay, let's go. On my bucket list is A, to watch a real theatre opera. B, to do a tandem, tandem parachute jump. Or C, to buy a new bucket. I'm not sure what you didn't hear, Franca, but because you didn't hear it, I'm guessing you're not going to be able to tell me what you didn't hear. But I will repeat. I will repeat. Think that was a good one? Think it's a good one to finish off? I'm glad you did, Jamie. Nobody else seemed to. I was waiting for Deborah to, but she didn't. Well, I raised well, my eyebrows at you. Oh, I will, Vanessa. Don't worry. I will. I will. Right now, I, I do have a blue bucket, but there's a hole in my bucket, dear Liza, dear Liza. There's a hole in my bucket, dear Liza, a hole. <laughs> As he started saying, there's a hole in my bucket, my head went right to the song. I used to do it with my, my grandmother. We used to do the entire shit, like the entire lot. And you could hear in her voice, she'd be like, there's a hole in my bucket, dear Liza. Dear Liza. And I'd be like, and she's just like... Anyway, we're repeating. On my bucket list is A, to watch a real theatre opera. B, to do a tandem parachute jump. C, to buy a new bucket. And they do cost a, a lot. To buy a metal bucket, it costs a lot of money, but it lasts. Okay, granted, they might get a hole in the bucket, but they're easy to repair. <laughs> the last choice stopped her brain for a moment. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> You're right, Coco. Take care, Miss Michelle. Good luck with whatever it is. He's gone to see my pinky finger because I trapped it in a door. Okay. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. It doesn't take much. It doesn't take much with me either, Tab. Okay. Break in the chat, please. See a live opera holster tandem jumping sat on a bucket. Could be an option. Could be an option. Okay. Deborah. Um, I think the A, uh, see a live opera thing. Out of everything, you've only gotten one right. I can't remember that which was, one that was. It wasn't that was this it. One. Until now, you got two. It's A. I am. Um, I am so, so eager to see a real opera in a theatre. It's on my bucket list. It is so on my bucket list. I really, 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 really do. So A is the answer. Tandem parachute jumping? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Heck no. Heck no. 
That's doing people's migraines the world of good, isn't it? Heck no! <laughs> Give me the winners then, Deborah. Alrighty. Uh, first, Coco. Yes. Kaylin. Yes. Karen. Yep. Ingrid. Yep. Melissa. Yep. Julie. Yep. Joe. Yep. Tabby. Oh, level begging. Yep. Lynn. Yep. Sarah. Yep. Tangled. Yep. And that's it. <laughs> I just woke your dog up. I'm so sorry. You could have lied and said C. Okay, C. 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 Just for Franca. C. I mean, I, 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 I do need a new bucket. To be fair, I do need a new bucket. And Christina wants to see a new uh, opera as well. Who would jump out of a perfectly good plane? <laughs> like, right? Exactly. If, if it's working, why would you jump? <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I, I know my father's done a parachute jump, but he was in, in the Air Force, so off you go. Me, no, 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 grounded, grounded, feet on the ground. Thank you very much. Done. Okay, so refresh, please, because we've got one more. Deborah's last one, unless we have a tie break. We have a tie break, then we're just doing a, literally a random in the chat. But refresh, 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 refresh. I do need a new bucket, but it's not on my bucket list. Although on my bucket list is a plastic bucket, a metal bucket, and a bucket without a hole. That's my bucket list. Stop setting them on fire. But my, <laughs> my silver bucket is now the silver bucket of fire because of Donna. It's all down to Donna now. She ain't going to be forgotten because of my bucket. Yes. But maybe he did give us wings in the form of a plane. Or not the kind that we get as we get older and they, you know. That's what Tracy calls them. And crochet rocks. She calls them bingo wings, I think. They are bingo wings. I never what, heard that term. What do you call that? I, oh, my gosh. Yeah, they're called bingo wings. I just call them my flabby arms and I don't care. It, I wear tank because top. When you, when you go to bingo, you call bingo. And as you do that, your arms. Oh. <laughs> they're bingo wings. Oh Woo! Woo! Everybody show your wings. <laughs> I thought it was a worldwide thing. I've never heard that. It might be, but it's something I've never heard. I've just, you know, everybody wants to come for their arms. No, I happen to be wearing something with sleeves today. This is because this is what I grabbed. I wanted something with pink. I, I, I need to cut one. Okay, Deborah, let's hope they're refreshed because it's your last finale it's your oh i'm saving that one for last time yeah. we'll see what people can remember <clears throat> we're looking for the lie double waves Bing wait, hey. wait, wait 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 kerry said bingo's cancelled that's fine not a problem kerry please 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 rest up get rid of that migraine Stay away from the pixels. Stay away from the screens. Rest up. Thank you for letting me know. Okay. Sorry, Deborah. That's okay. Looking for the lie. A. I worked in radio on the air for over seven years. <gasps> you said this in your last one. Yep. B. I worked in government for over six years. You said this one in your last one. Did I? You did. Hmm. 
Shall I choose another? Because I don't remember saying it, but that means nothing. I I remember it, and that is saying something. <laughs> All right, if you remember that one, I didn't have it marked off, so I will go to the one, the celebrity one that I was talking about before. Looking for the lie here. A, I have met George Takei. Who? The guy, he's from Star Trek, Sulu. Very deep voice. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. That puts B, it into context for me. She's B, been on I have met Madonna. If I have to explain who Madonna is, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Who's Madonna? Or, Madonna what? Madonna Ciccone. Yeah. Or C, I have met Soupy Sales. Who? Uh, an actor and comedian who is very very old now if he's still alive um but his big thing he ate a lot of soup so yeah so a, B, yes, I, I met no, someone no. who ate a lot of soup Woo-hoo! really i'm not even kidding um so those are your choices a b or c which is yeah. one i met a bloke that ate a lot of soup i met somebody who has no last name and i met somebody who was the first one again? Oh, yeah. And no, I met somebody in space. Oh, <laughs> other choices. <laughs> sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm not sorry, but I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, la, 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 la. La 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 What was it? Oh, you can repeat again in a minute anyway. Okay. Losing it, Tabby? I think she has lost it. What did I have to lose? Some marbles that... I love marbles. Toodles lost his marbles. But he found them again because they were his happy thoughts. Anybody know what I'm going on about? No, I don't. Like, really? Oh, and you're a movie woman. Is that that Inside Out movie? No, it's Hook. Hmm. With Robin Williams. That line. I think I've I've seen that, but that's been way too many years. Hello. Now, some things, yeah. some movies I remember, I could probably quote, I could probably quote most of The Breakfast Club. I have no idea what that is. That's right. <laughs> you went over that and you still haven't seen it during charades. Oh, yeah. And you were acting out eating breakfast. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I watched the, 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 the European guy break, going away, coming back again. I watched both of them, whatever they were. I can't remember what his name is, but he was in it from the 80s. <laughs> oh, Karen forced me to watch it, and I watched both, and they both bored me sinless, and you guys were going on and on and on about, oh, my gosh. Oh, it bored me rigid. Expedition. You're making Coco dizzy, so, yeah. Well, you know, it's, I've got to do it every now and again, just every now and again. Okay, Deborah, please repeat so that I can attempt to remember the names. All right, finding the lie here. A, I have met George Takei. B, I have met Madonna. Or C, I have met Soupy Sales. Thank you, Riggles. I wasn't sure of the date. I was sure that it had to have been. Tabby, you're pink, you're pinky purple until somebody else goes on and then it gets changed. But it will never be blue. Not for the not for the thank you wheel because the thank you wheel is peach and brown and red and purple. Miss Coco, can we please have the break? I don't know these people. Soup George Madge. <laughs> the fact that you call her Madge, I think, is you know. <laughs> oh, um. 
Okay, there's the break. <laughs> What's your guess? Um, purple is a new blue. It so isn't. Um, <laughs> my guess, who haven't met, you haven't met the bloke that ate a lot of soup. That's incorrect. Uh, he appeared at Dragon Con a uh, year that I went and I got to go up and meet and speak with him. And he was old AF at that time. He wasn't doing a lot of talking. He would like say hello. He would take a picture with you. But I did get to say hi and everything. Um, well, and I've also. George. Yes, I met George Takei. George Takei is an absolute delight. And I could listen to him read the phone book. He's just got uh, that mellifluous voice. Um but I have never met Madonna or and Matt. I kind of thought that because that really came out of the blue that that was like, oh, yeah, that will be too obvious to say that once. <laughs> oh, wow. There you go. So I guess we have to see who said uh, B. Hang mm. on, take off the specs and scroll back to the pre-break. <laughs> the pre-break. We've got to keep that going. That's awesome on this thing. Okay. <laughs> Okay, and actually the first person with the correct answer again is Coco. Oh wow. Sleep deprivation suits you. Yep. And then Kaylin. Yep. Bailey. Yep. Kathy. Yep. I love to crochet. Yep. Karen. Yep. Sarah. Yep. Miss Jennifer Huckabee, thank you again. Oh Jennifer. my gosh. She oh it's oh in my head I'm going, where's Jennifer? Where's Jennifer? Thank you, Baylor, for saying that. Thank you. Yep. Uh, Vanessa. Yep. Zara. Yep. Riggles. No, wait, wait, wait sorry. Check that. I I was cross-eyed. Uh, not Riggles, but Lynn. Yep. Gina. Yep. And that's it. So now I have a look for the winner. Bear with me. <clears throat> so it was a close call between Bailey, Vanessa, Karen, Lynn, and Coco. We have a winner. We don't have a tie. We have a winner. Someone has beaten Karen. What? Someone beat Karen, and it wasn't Tabby. Our winner for week two is drum roll. Drum roll. Does it ever stop? I'm like, am I supposed to be doing it during the drum roll or is she going to stop us? There's no stopping her. Ah, the winner for this week was, is, was, is Lynn. Yay. Lynn got a total of eight. Vanessa got seven. Coco got six. Karen got six. Bailey got six. Lynn won by one point. Oh my shit. <laughs> it's not that kind of channel. <laughs> I said my ship goes in the harbor. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, 
Tabby wanted somebody else to to do something to, to get that color changed. So <laughs> glad wait, to be she'll, of she'll, sit, she'll still be pink. You wait. Oh my god, that'll be funny. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh <clears throat> getting US dollars to great way. British pounds oh my gosh I think that gives you three so sorry close your door my door is closed sorry why do you think he's in here oh no not quite okay so you've got two awesome oh my gosh I, I, I did correct it. I corrected what I said. If they come back at me, I'm going to point that out. Oh, my gosh. Well, Coco, Happy thank you for all pink. the breaks today. She's still pink. What if I mix them up a little bit? There you go. Are you happy now? Are you happy now? Are you happy? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I was not meant to say that. <laughs> like I said in my vloggy thing, you never know what either of us is going to say. <laughs> oh, my ship came in the harbour. <laughs> That's how I rectify it? Like, for real? <laughs> oh, Deborah is definitely pink. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Deborah. By the way, anybody else that might want to come up and co host, um, I'm not saying that you have to pay me to come up and co host. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, there's no blue on the thank you, spinny wheelie thingy. There's no blue. The only time now for the spinny wheel, oh my gosh. The only time now for the spinny wheelie thingy is that one, which is the super chat super stickers, which gets done at the end of the month. And there's one other for the members, which gets done at the end of September. And that will be below. But that one isn't. Oh my gosh. Tangled, I told you all you've got to do is email me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. That's what you. I do to Lisa. I say, hey, I'm off on a Monday, this particular Monday. Do you have anybody yet? <laughs> no, she doesn't say, have you got anyone yet? She says, I'm going to play blah, 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 blah. No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I do have a co-host for next week. If they remember, I will remind them. And it's somebody that has never been up here before. And then the week after, I have somebody up here who, one, has never done a live before, let alone been up here before. And it could get confusing. Because there's going to be one up here and one over there. So it could be interesting. Okay. Thank you so much, Coco. For breaking everything really appreciate it <laughs> and for starting a new pre-break tradition because that makes it easier to scroll through. i'm debating that love it pre-break stuff i think about it um we oh. have a winner for this week which is lynn we see the little teeny tiny putty tap Again, so teeny, so teeny. Stop thinking that you're overthinking, Karen. <laughs> it's a rubbish game. It really is a rubbish game, Franka, but it was down to Deborah. Deborah wanted to play the rubbish game, so we played the rubbish game. If anybody comes up to co-host, they pick the game. I don't pick for them. They pick it. Look at that sweet face. Deborah can vouch for that. Um, look. There's my boy. It's a little tiny pink nose with a little bubbles on it. Little bubbles. Her link is in the description, Miss Vanessa. Always have my co-host's link in the description. So it is there for you to pop on over and go and be disturbed. Because, you know, 
Where's Beanie when you need her? Where is Beanie? Yeah, where Beanie? is Beanie? In the shed on her throne at a guest. <laughs> Welcome in Utopia and congratulations on the giveaway win. What did you come in on? I have no idea when you came in, so I dread to think. Um, oh, Beanie doesn't like boys. She doesn't like girls either. She don't like nothing. Welcome in, Saf. Saf, tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, my videos. Tomorrow, it's only a day away. Okay, that's me done. Right, okay, so let's say a big thank you to everybody who came in today, even if you've only let this run, stuck it on mute in a different tab, or just gone and done your shopping while I'm sat on your kitchen worktop, whatever it is. If you've joined in, thank you very much for joining in. For everybody else, really appreciate the time. I am Lisa, Ladybird Loves. Her over there with the massive cat, Oscar, is Miss Deborah. Her link is down in the description below if you'd like to pop on over and get a little bit weird. I won't, Baylor, don't worry, I won't. Although I don't have one in the first place. Although when you were singing, you got some serious ear twisting from this one. So. <laughs> ear twisting. <laughs> as long as it's only twisting and not flattening you know we'll go with that that's fine right take care people until friday or next monday try and have a good monday and for those that remember donna please remember donna